Just like the media and web modes, we have a presentation mode to control your presentation software. There are two presentation modes, the basic and the pro version. I'll start by showing you the basic version. The basic presentation mode features oversized next and back buttons, as well as a start button at the bottom. To start your slideshow, just hit the start button. Once the presentation starts, you will see the title of the current slide show up on the trackpad and the slide number show up on the start button. Navigating slides is as easy as tapping the next and back buttons. As with all the other modes, you can still use the trackpad while in this mode too. At any point, if you want to stop the slideshow, simply tap the slide number button to stop. Now I'd like to show you the pro version. To switch to it, simply tap the star icon. The pro version will show you the slide you're on, the presentation notes, as well as a presentation timer. Let's start by setting up the presentation timer. To do this, just tap the info icon. First, we need to set up the total duration of the presentation. For this demo, I'll set it up for one minute. Now we need to set up the warning and alert points. When the warning point is reached, the timer progress bar will turn yellow. And when the alert point is reached, the timer progress bar will turn red. At the warning and alert points, the iPhone will also vibrate to notify you these points were reached. You can adjust these points by sliding the sliders. To start the presentation, we just tap the start button. Once the slideshow starts, the current slide will show above the trackpad and the notes will show at the bottom. Once our presentation has begun, we can tap the timer button to start the presentation timer. The timer doesn't automatically start when you start the slideshow, since presenters will often like to start the slideshow before beginning their actual presentation. To move through slides, just swipe the slide in the direction you want to go, or tap the slide to move forward or backwards. If the notes are longer than the space provided, you can scroll down to see the rest of the notes. We have also added a presentation pointer icon. You can access it by tapping the pointer icon. When this is on, just tap the slide itself to show a pointer on your presentation. The pointer will show up at the exact location on screen as where you are touching the slide on the app, which is very useful when you can't see the presentation screen. To deactivate the pointer, just tap the pointer icon and resume control over your presentation. You will notice that as the timer is passed our warning and alert points, it has changed colors. Once the timer has gone over the total time set for the presentation, the progress bar will begin to pulsate red and the timer will now indicate the time that the presentation has gone over. If you wish to use a trackpad during a presentation, just drag the slide upward to hide it and you can use the trackpad. While it's hidden, you can still see the slide titles on the trackpad. To bring it back, simply tap or drag the drawer down. If at any point you'd like to jump to a specific slide, just tap the button at the bottom to bring up the slide picker. From here you can view all your slides along with their slide titles and notes. To jump to a slide, just tap the slide. If you want to end the slideshow, bring up the slide picker, scroll to the bottom, and tap the stop icon. You can toggle between the pro and basic version by just tapping the page curl in the bottom corner. That concludes our tour of the presentation mode.